Thank you to all of our STEAM judges for providing their valuable insights. We are excited to announce that we have compiled a pre-recorded video featuring judges from around the world sharing their perspectives on the AI hackathon and providing guidance on how to distinguish a successful project. Get ready to be inspired and gain knowledge. I really hope to see like very original ideas. I feel like uh, the topics are very flexible. I personally like a lot the generative AI for obvious reasons. Uh, but I want to see participants going beyond the typical applications that we are seeing from the companies or from the industry. I think that they're bringing creative solutions and especially targeting like uh, important topics that could have like some social value, etc. That's what I'm hoping to see. The first thing I will expect from this competition is learning. Mm, in every sense, learning from the participants, learning from judges, uh, learning from the public. And within, within that learning, mm, I think that the contribution to humanity is essential, that in some way this competition contributes a grain of sand to development and growth of humanity. Uh, within this contribution, it seems to me more interesting that we find solutions to problems or opportunities that human beings have not been able to solve. I don't find it so interesting to use artificial intelligence to perform tasks that humans already do well, uh, such as studying and creating, researching a topic, uh, making criticisms or, or reading. For this reason, I prefer solve problems that human beings have not been able to solve. Yeah, like I said, I hope to see some real insights on uh, new interesting problems in AI. And I'm quite sure, given the, the breadth of the scope of the hackathon and uh, the fact that people from all over the world will participate with different backgrounds, we will, we will get that. Well, obviously, there's a lot of scope for leveraging the recent large language models to do a number of things from theory of mind um, to emotional understanding. Uh, there's a lot of untapped potential in language models. I do feel that uh, they are taking maybe a, too much, uh, too large a share of the attention of the public and also the researchers. So I hope people will still pursue some uh, original avenues that could be the new language models in five or ten years' time. The, one of the biggest things I'm really passionate about when I'm judging a project um, is primarily what problem are we solving, okay? What is the, what is the difference we're trying to make? And, you know, what is the, the real challenge that we're looking to solve with this solution that we are working on, that you're build, building? The second thing is um, making sure that it's something that can be achieved, right? So they, you know, we could solve, we could come up with massive, uh, huge uh, vision and solutions, but what is it that we can achieve from the problem that we're looking to solve? That, and I like to see a plan of um, how we are going to actually productionize this thing in the future, because ultimately, uh, you know, what we want to try to do is look at the, the solution that we're, we're, we're developing and think about right from the get go, how will this scale? Like, how will how will this scale? How will this fit into the ecosystem? Now, I want people to kind of be having that visionary thought process in their mind to think that when we do, if we do go ahead with this or if this gets expected and if you are the winner, what's the plan behind it, right? So think about that beforehand. So I want people who are proactive and who are thinking about the long-term vision as well as what they're producing right now. Third thing is um, in terms of um, what you have learned, and what you're going to pass on to other people. So I want this to be a highly collaborative uh, activity in nature. So it's very important for people to learn, uh, to kind of um, get a good sense of what they've taken from this activity and how are they going to teach that or share that with other people. Kind of uh, Anki Dolls, kind of a few other areas what I think are important is making sure that you obviously you know, have a unique idea, right? So make sure it's something different that you're doing. 
they want to be doing something exactly like for like. Well, I think uh, there, there's two components. One is originality of thought and, uh, and novelty, and the other one is impressive uh, empirical results. And you, you can have the best idea in the world, but if it does, it's not backed up by by your numbers, then uh, people will likely not pay a lot of interest to it. So I think it needs to be a combination of both. So novelty and originality of thought and uh, very good theory and critical results. I think the, the impact uh, and the replicability of the project is uh, for me the, the main thing that, that separates a successful project than a non-successful one. I mean, I, I imagine there's going to be like lots of wonderful ideas and projects, but uh, the, the ones that have the more impact, the more replicability, and that, that may um, um, become something better. Artificial intelligence has taken an impressive leap in the last year and the growth will be exponential from now on. Ever before uh, has the world opened its arms to artificial intelligence so much and the ideas that emerge at this time will endure over time. Obviously evolving at the rapid pace of, of technology so the time is now. If it must do, it will be others who will take advantage of this unique opportunity in history. So let's do it. Come on. The main advice I can give is just enjoy the experience. Put some much for you are participating, make the most of this. You never know how uh, good this experience can be. I personally started my career by joining hackathons and, and technical events. And then I met people, I create ideas, other people create startups. So I think like uh, put the most of that and let's see how that goes. Nothing is impossible. Like that's why I would say is don't fear that, that it's not a bad idea or don't fear that you can't do it or there's no chance of you winning or, you know, you. I think you should have a very open mind about this and just be fearless and jump into it, right? And do it because the more you think about it, the more you procrastinate, the more you you know, the, the less chance of you having uh, participation in here and, and, and kind of actually, you know, having success of being um, a winner in this in this event. So I think don't, don't have any fear, go for it, uh, you know, take it on as an opportunity.